All right, Shalom, Shalom, Rastafari, and this is going to be on the outstretched arms of Christ, or that the idea, the key, the key word is the outstretched arm. Now, if you look that up in the scripture, you know, outstretched arm. Sometimes you have to break it down to key word, right? Hold on for a moment, brothers and sisters. Outstretched arm. Right, and the arm of God slash Christ. I'm just taking notes. You know, I'll be saying to y'all, take notes. And, you know, if y'all don't want to take notes, I'm going to take notes. And some of us take notes. I will. Amen. So we had touched on last, uh, touched on the outstretched, a verse that mentioned the outstretched arms. Right, the outstretched arms. Right. And this is one of the... Uh, Ethiopic um, uh, Sheil or Sheil, you know, saying one of our native original Sheil, not this other stuff that has crept in since the traders opened up the doors, you know, saying so the enemies could come in. They opened up the gates, in other words, you know, saying for the enemies to come in, and that's when they brought in this so-called whitewash, you know, saying or this counterfeit, and this has now made Ethiopia vulnerable to our enemies, uh, internal enemies and external enemies. Now, how does all of this um, connect or relate to the King of Kings and his Christ? You understand, uh, the King of Kings, the Father, Abba, and our big brother, our black brother, Yeshua. Speaking of the Jesus Christos, you understand, the true spirit of God in Christ and his word, which is the B-I-B-L-E. That's why we're still on the Eliyah or Eliah and Elijah, but we got into the book, the idea of the book of Eli. You, we were looking at previous, right? Previously was, um, it was in Jeremiah 32 and 16, and we was looking up the verses which spoke about evidences. And then this is um, Aramias' prayer. Ah, geta gziyabi her. Ah, Adonai Yahweh. Behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. This reminds I and I of, um, of what this thing Gilmarium said. And and Kedus uh, Luke as Wengel Mi'raf and or Mi'raf hand, if you please, right? Where where she says, um, um, behold, behold, look and see. Remember this this Torah portion that we're in, right? This particular Torah portion is is behold. It's the forty seventh Rastafari sabbatical um, or Sabbath study, Sabbath scroll number forty seven. And that in the Hebrew is known as re or re as well as from Bamarinya as Arai, Arai, right? And we touched on that in some previous posts as well as on the Barbait. Because it's important that we learn our Fidel, learn our ciphers, how to read, you understand? But begin off with hearing the word. This is why we have to encourage ones and ones again that... Um, uh, audio books, you know, with the Bible, audio books of the Bible, especially if it's good readers, especially in the English, the King James version of it, you, you have to get, get a copy of some audio books and play them. You know, and listen to them regularly. Even if you don't have the opportunity, you might be working, you might be busy, whatever, play them, listen to them. If you need to get the Metzav Kedus that's being read in the, which is the Haile Selassie Bible, or what we know of as the book of Eli, or the book of the seven seals, the me se ha se e du se the met se ha ke du se. You know, same as Matthew says, the, and, and, and the, you know, the, the proper name that the Bible bears, right? And we give thanks and praise that we've been able to um, get these pocket size and find um, printers and distributors because it's a lot of counterfeiting of this Bible or presenting another Bible 
in the name of this Bible to a lot of brothers and sisters who might still be there. It's like, y'all the children. So when you're getting these other Bibles, like they're offending the children. Remember we said you brought the little child, the Hitan, which we, we use to teach on the Lig, Liginet study, right? And he says that, woe to those who offend one of these little ones. So some of y'all are trying to actually get His Majesty's Bible and begin studying, and instead of getting this, the Metzahaf Kedus, you understand, even when you search the ISBN, as happened to us on, a, on a several occasions, ordering dozens of books at a time sometimes, and, and we get this, this, this um, Romanist. It's actually behind the whole thing is this Romanist Bible. Really, it's the Good News Bible. You know that Good News Bible, that, that crazy Bible, the Good News one? You know, that's like written for nowadays people. You understand? Because they say, you're too stupid to really study, you understand, the Bible, like in this sort of detail. Yovas, and, and don't let their word come to pass. You know, like this word program. We have it. You can download it. You understand? And you can actually, like we just showed right here, when we say, ah, I deny Yahweh. We would say, oh, I deny. How do you say that? It says, Lord God, how do you determine that? Well, if you look, if you look at it right here, now, this thing is acting up probably because of this right here. Let's close that right out, and let's see if this, okay, there it goes right there. Let's just click on this so it'll come down at the bottom, right? You see this right down here? Ah, uh, ah, uh, do, nai, adonai. I mean, we, we can say adonai too. This is pointed by mostly the Ashkenazis, right? So we're looking to the, the um, Metaf Kedus. We can look into our, all the Ethiopic scrolls. This is what's so important about our, our divine heritage or about our ancient Ethiopian culture. And Kadamawi Haile Shalase, I and I, Godfather and King of Kings, he says that language, right, language is the key of culture. So if we want to know Ethiopian culture, we must begin with the fidel, with the language, and everything that is related to that. It's, it's the mainframe. It's like the matrix, if you please, all right? So let's go on with this area right here. We still are speaking about um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, 